Hey fam, Vince here from Transfer Express. Now with the fall being just around the corner, many consumers are gonna be on the hunt for some warm, cozy blankets. Now there is a ton of printing opportunity in blankets, from spirit blankets for fans in the stands for football games, soccer games, to outdoor events like festivals and concerts. So today, we're gonna to talk through some tips and tricks that you can use when custom decorating blankets with your heat press. So get warmed up and let's cover this together. If you're new to Transfer Express, we're the world's largest supplier of screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help you grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this every week. Now the first tip for decorating blankets is to select the right blank. The material makeup of the blanket is very important. Many blankets are made out of sweatshirt, cotton polyester, fleece fabric, making it simple to decorate on your heat press using heat transfers. Try to find blankets that are 100% cotton, 100% polyester, or a cotton poly blend. When you start getting into the acrylics and those real heat sensitive fibers, you're gonna start running into issues where decorating with a heat press may be damaging to your blanks. Here at Transfer Express, we offer a variety of blankets that are designed for heat printing, such as this Port Authority BP60 100% polyester fleece blanket and the Gildan 12900 5050 stadium blanket. You can check out and shop our full selection of blankets at the wholesale apparel section on transferexpress.com. All you need is a free Transfer Express account to get started. Now that we have our blanks, the next tip will be to pick the proper transfer type. Now there is only one way you can wear a t-shirt, but this is not the case with blankets. Consumers can sit on blankets, stretch and span them across big groups of people, curl yourself up into a burrito, you get the picture. So even though blankets may get washed less than clothing, they typically get far more abused, which is why you wanna decorate using a tough, durable ink transfer that could withstand the more abrasive use. This is why for blankets, we recommend using our Goof Proof screen printed transfers. Not only is Goof Proof our most durable transfer, outlasting most garments it's applied to, but it is also our most versatile transfer, capable of applying with a variety of fabric types and temperatures. Now that we have our blanks and ink transfer figured out, let's talk about placement. There are many places on a blanket that you can decorate. Typically, you have approximately 50 to 60 inches of fabric, but of course the size varies depending on brands and style. So your options include decorating the center corners, top or bottom. The easiest to decorate with a heat press is the top center or bottom center of the blanket because it loads easily on the heat press. And when folded and rolled, it aligns the graphic perfectly for a professional presentation. Another popular placement is right on the corners too, Little insignia, stuff like that, it works great on blankets. Since we are using a heat press to heat apply the transfers, we want to stick with a size that is manageable on the press. An 11 inch to 14 inch design is a perfect size for the heat press and for the size of the blanket. If you are printing smaller designs on the corner of the blanket, try approximately a five inch design, give or take. Again, since it's a large blanket, there is no right or wrong way. For our design here, we used our free EasyView online designer to fill a full gang sheet with a variety of designs at different sizes that we can use for different placements on our blankets. So enough talking. Let's go back to our 16 by 20 auto clam and apply our transfers to this Port Authority blanket. We're gonna go ahead and take our Port Authority 5050 blanket and we're gonna thread it over our platen here. I have the quick slip off so that we'll have a little bit more friction. I'm gonna completely cover the heat press platen, making sure my seams are off so I get a nice even heat pressure. We'll go ahead and pre-press to get the moisture wrinkles out of our blanket, just like we do for our t-shirts. And check our pressure, of course. So I'm a little high on the pressure, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this back just a tad. Right in eight, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my big Jefferson Wildcats print. You wanna try and align it with the seam. So we have a little cutout here. I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna use the grids on the back for our transfer paper to make sure it's lined up nice and perpendicular with our seams. Now that we're lined up, we're gonna go ahead and press at our regular goof proof instructions, which is 365 degrees, four to six second press time. Goof proof is a hot peel, so we'll peel the transfer immediately. And just like that, we have an awesome, customized stadium blanket that's gonna be perfect for the fans in the stands for this football season. 
We were also able to take advantage of the extra room on our gang sheet to print our other section right down here on the blanket in our nice little Wildcats insignia. I hope this video helped you to feel confident in printing blankets. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube for tons of helpful tips and tricks just like this. We're dropping new videos every single week. But until next time, I'm Vince. Happy pressing.